Brown and Grammar and a best friend Kirsty Theologo were doused with petrol and set alight. These scars, a constant reminder of the brutal attack. She came face to face with the four accused for the first time this week. It really hurts to know that I have to live with scars on my body for the rest of my life. They've taken away my body. In her testimony, Grandma claims their drinks might have been spiked. She says she passed out soon after taking the drink and woke up to curse these screams. She claims one of the accused, Lyndon Wagner, strangled her. I will forgive them, but not anytime soon. I just don't have the strength yet. Through a magistrate, co accused Robin Howard admitted to holding Kirsty down so she could be torched. He claims he was in a trance as if possessed. Grammar's testimony later came under intense scrutiny from the defense. Another accused, Courtney Daniels' lawyer, outlined several inconsistencies between her initial statement and her testimony. Grammar claims she was heavily medicated when she made the statement. Daniel's lawyer says the inconsistencies prove that Grammar is not truthful about the sequence of events. It was a tough and exhausting day for Grammar and she requested several adjournments. But she kept a brave face throughout proceedings. The trial continues next week. Mangobam Tunu, SABC News, Palm Ridge.